HER2 positive breast cancer is more threatening, but we now have new cutting edge treatments. We will teach you all about it. HER2 positive breast cancer are faster growing and are more of a threat to your life than most other breast cancers. Invariably, chemotherapy is needed, but when paired with these breakthrough drugs such as Herceptin or Pergetta or other drugs, the outcomes are dramatically better than they have been in the past. One aspect about HER2 positive breast cancer that you need to know about is that if you have early stage HER2 positive breast cancer, there are distinct benefits to getting chemotherapy before surgery, called neoadjuvant chemotherapy, rather than after surgery. And we're gonna teach you all about that. Hang in there, it's complicated, but we'll get you through it. In this lesson, I'm gonna tell you exactly what HER2 means. And I'm gonna teach you about the different tumor receptors. HER2 receptor is one of them because they're so essential in deciding how to treat your breast cancer. I'm gonna go over chemotherapy and targeted immunotherapy, the new drugs that are so helpful in curing HER2 positive breast cancer. I'm gonna review the benefits and why you should engage your breast surgeon immediately when you know you're HER2 positive about the possible benefits of getting chemotherapy before surgery. And I'm also gonna go over how clinical trials might play a role in your breast cancer treatment. So let's get started. What is HER2 positive breast cancer? HER2 positive breast cancer is a type of cancer where the cancer grows faster and also has a higher chance of spreading beyond the breast to other parts of the body and threatening your life. So HER2 positive breast cancer is a bigger threat to you than most other types of cancer. We have some great treatments, and I'm gonna cover that shortly. 20% of all invasive breast cancers are HER2 positive. And let me tell you a little bit about receptors. HER2 is a receptor, and there are three main receptors that we talk about with invasive breast cancer. And you can learn much more about them by taking our tumor receptor video lesson and pathology report lesson at the Breast Cancer School for Patients. But let me cover it real quick. Think of a cancer cell, and there are different little light switches that turn the cancer cell to grow, which means divide. So one cell becomes two, two, four, and a tumor gets larger. So a HER2 receptor, or a HER2 positive breast cancer, has too many of the HER2 light switches on its surface switched to the permanent on position. And that is one of the factors that drives HER2 positive cancers to grow fast, but it also gives us a way to treat it because we have new therapies that go and target and attack those little receptors and help destroy those cancer cells. So, unfortunately, most patients are unaware or not told about their receptor status when their breast surgeon learns of their receptor status. So let me explain. If you have a breast biopsy, and then you find out that you have cancer, within three to five days, your breast surgeon should know whether you have estrogen receptor positivity or negativity, HER2 positive or negative, and progesterone receptor positive or negative. I wanna talk about HER2. If your HER2 receptor comes back positive, all kinds of red flags are going off that you will likely benefit from chemotherapy, and your breast surgeon will know that and you want to know too. So let me give you a little piece of advice. Ask your breast surgeon when you first see him or her, or if they do your biopsy and you learn that you have breast cancer, ask them what your receptors are. Ask them what your HER2 receptor is. And ask them if your receptors already suggest you will benefit from chemotherapy. And I'll tell you why coming shortly. Chemotherapy and targeted immunotherapy with drugs such as Herceptin or Pergetta is the mainstay of treatment for HER2 positive breast cancers beyond breast cancer surgery and radiation therapy. So let me give you a little background. For a number of years, we've known that HER2 positive breast cancer was more threatening and we treated it appropriately with chemotherapy. But about 10 or 15 years ago, 
a huge breakthrough in all of the history of breast cancer treatment, if there is such a history, was the introduction of a drug called Herceptin. Herceptin is one of these drugs that attacks the little light switches that are always in the on position. And when paired with chemotherapy, proved to dramatically decrease the chance of HER2 positive breast cancers coming back and also dramatically improve survival or decrease the chance of dying from a HER2 positive breast cancer. It was a big deal and it is now standard of care. But today, there are some situations where we're, we're taking this a step farther, where if you have a, maybe a little larger breast cancer that's HER2 positive or have cancer in your lymph nodes and it's HER2 positive, we can often add in another targeted drug. One of those drugs, the leading drug, is Pergetta to add in addition to Herceptin to better target these cancers and kill them even more effectively. So remember, HER2 positive cancer is more threatening, chemotherapy, targeted immunotherapy is essential if you can tolerate it. Next I'm going to talk a little bit about why you should know about neoadjuvant chemotherapy. Why consider chemotherapy before surgery if I have an early stage small HER2 positive breast cancer? Well, a big cutting edge approach in breast cancer treatment is identifying patients like HER2 positive breast cancer patients that really respond to chemotherapy and identifying them before surgery and considering giving them chemotherapy before surgery, watching the tumor shrink, and then later do surgery and finishing their therapy. So, more and more sophisticated breast centers and cancer centers are embracing this cutting edge approach. There are unfortunately so many patients that are not identified as candidates for neoadjuvant chemotherapy, chemotherapy before surgery. So I'm talking early stage breast cancer, small tumors, but are not offered neoadjuvant chemotherapy when there's some distinct benefits associated with it. And that's why I want to give you some information so you, number one, can identify yourself if you may be a candidate for chemotherapy before surgery and engage your breast surgeon early on before surgery about whether or not you may benefit from this. It's a complex decision process with you, your breast surgeon, and a medical oncologist. So let me tell you, the possible benefits of getting chemotherapy before surgery for a HER2 positive breast cancer. So remember, this is a cancer that really does shrink away quickly with chemotherapy and targeted immunotherapy. So the concept is, if you otherwise have surgery, so I see you, it takes four weeks to get to surgery, four weeks to recovery, a couple weeks to kind of get started on chemotherapy. You're looking at six, eight, or more weeks from diagnosis at the very earliest to start life-saving chemotherapy. But if you've got a more aggressive tumor, a HER2-positive breast cancer, and at diagnosis we know that, we can get you started on chemotherapy within maybe two weeks. And that's really even more important in some ways at treating your breast cancer than surgery is initially. So that's one possible benefit. However, no one's proven that chemotherapy before surgery for early stage breast cancer makes people live longer or cures more. But there's a sense that there are a lot of benefits and we might prove that one day. Let me give you another one. Let's say you have a three centimeter cancer, a small breast, and your surgeon really sort of tells you that you have we're gonna need a mastectomy to treat it because it's just too big to remove. If it's a HER2 positive breast cancer, there's a good chance it can shrink away to little to nothing or nothing at all. And you can convert having or needing to have a mastectomy to a lumpectomy. And if you're gonna have a lumpectomy in a different situation, shrinking the tumor up front can allow your surgeon to remove less breast tissue and give you a better cosmetic result. Also, if you get chemotherapy up front, we can follow your cancer with serial exams and ultrasounds and measure it, see how well it's responding to the chemotherapy and, and targeted immunotherapy. 
most of the time it shrinks away well. But if it's not shrinking, then we can switch or pivot to a different treatment to then see if it's responding. So there's a whole bunch of potential benefits possibly to you. And so that is why the Breast Cancer School for Patients recommends to you to engage your breast surgeon early on about your receptors, whether or not you're going to need chemotherapy, and will you benefit in your unique situation of neoadjuvant chemotherapy. Make sure to take our video lesson on neoadjuvant chemotherapy at the Breast Cancer School for Patients. Next time I'm going to tell you a little bit about how clinical trials can play a role in your care. Why possibly consider a clinical trial for my HER2 positive breast cancer? Now, rest assured, the treatments we've been talking about and the treatments that your doctors are offering you are the best available. However, HER2 positive breast cancer is still a threatening cancer and we are still looking. We sort of have a partial silver bullet and Herceptin and Progetta, and we're really lucky to have it. But we're looking for the other half of the silver bullet so we capture everyone else that still is threatened by this cancer after it's been treated. So that's where clinical trials come in, comes into play. We're still testing new drugs, new ideas, to see if they can improve the outcomes or get the same outcomes with less side effects. Only 5% of all patients participate in a clinical trial. So, breast cancer clinical trials are available in many areas and you can take our clinical trial video lesson and also look on our website and you can find HER2 positive breast cancer clinical trials that may be available in your area to participate in should you be interested in doing so. HER2 positive breast cancer is serious. It requires chemotherapy. But when paired with immunotherapy drugs such as Herceptin and Pergetta or other drugs, we can make the outcomes dramatically better than they were in the past. Learn as soon as possible after your breast biopsy, once you know you have a breast cancer, exactly what your tumor receptors are, estrogen receptor, HER2 receptor. If you are HER2 positive, I recommend that you engage your breast surgeon early on before surgery and inquire about the possible benefits, whether or not they apply to you, the benefits of chemotherapy before surgery rather than after surgery. To learn more about HER2 positive breast cancer, visit the Breast Cancer School for Patients, where we actually teach you everything you need to know. We're here to help you get the best possible breast cancer care in your community. Register on our website to get our list of questions to prepare you for your next doctor visit.